12 foot drop on those white on the white water there. 12 foot drop. There's no computers, no people. This just naturally happens as the temperature changes. Um, now also, as you guys can probably imagine, um, all the gates and stuff we had to get in to get into the bridge. Um, there is a, a deal where a lot of kids in high school love to sneak out here at night. Uh, growing up in this area, I, I know a lot about it. All my friends used to do that uh, in high school. One of their favorite things to do, they used to do at least, uh, they were talking about playing this game, they called it Tony. And you come up and climb that ladder, walk out to the end, climb that next ladder, and you're on the side of the highway. You do this at nighttime, and when no cars are coming, you run out and grab traffic cones off the uh, top of the road. Uh, thing, it's far away from me. Yeah, it's all right. I gotta get this video. This there are those barriers. Anyway, they used to grab the traffic cones, and then you tie a glow stick around the end of it, and you see who can throw it before this off the bridge. <laughs> You just heard about it. I just heard about that. I would never do such a thing. You just heard just about it. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, that's the kind of stuff kids used to do. It's not just kids of my generation who were out here messing around. Back in the 70s, my parents used to climb up this bridge while it was still being built and jump into those safety nets. That's what kids used to do back in the 70s were going. Um, so kids have always been doing crazy stuff out here. Last year, Part of me feels bad because they uh, installed motion detectors out here. So it's pretty difficult to sneak out anymore. If you do it at nighttime, you can do it in the day, we'll probably see you. But if you do it at night, motion detectors will go off. They set this big alarm system off, and you're probably going to get busted now. So. I know where they're located. Yeah, there's like there's three on each side. It would be pretty, pretty good to get by them. They're pretty strategically placed. It'd be tough. But I mean, people have done it. I know people have done it. but. But still, it'd be pretty tough. And I also want to show you guys a cool picture while we're standing here. Um, so like I told you, I've been here for five summers. Uh, and I'm from this area, so I worked here in high school. A lot of cool opportunities I've gotten while being around here at Bridgewell. My favorite uh, was getting my prom pictures made out here. And I'll show you guys what those look like. This was, that was my senior year prom pic. Um, and that's right where we're standing. So the tub yeah. crew was up on that little walkway. Okay. And I'm standing she right about here on the W plate. Um, she was a good mine. student because that was her first that's time out here. No harness in a prom dress. That's uh, mom. Uh, oh, this okay. This is your one. This is the one we had to okay, worry about. Fine. It's fine. Get her up and out there. Yeah, get her up all the way out there. So luckily she uh, played along. We got some space out. Yeah, that's awesome. So we're really lucky, and there has been a couple other groups that have started getting Ellie. after us. So. No. so, as we keep walking here, make sure you guys check out the arch underneath us. This is where it starts. Those two big cement blocks you see in the ground, that's where the arch begins. When we get to the center of the bridge, it'll be like right at our eye level, but it'll rise up 